But I think I have a special guest that is here to Who join could us it today. Be? I think if we can bring him out, he is my uh, master. Hey, Vaughn! No, uh, yeah, over here, over here. Over here, over here. <laughs> Give me that. Move over, please. Hey, everyone. I've never seen so many fucking guys in one room before. <laughs> Should I keep doing the voice? Or? No, no, no. <laughs> the writing, I'd say, is pretty cool, pretty awesome. When we read the scripts, we're always laughing from, from the get-go. We're so lucky in that as soon as we get a new script, it's like, oh, I can't wait to do this, you know? And then, you know, you, start, you do the read-through with everyone. And, and then I would say having um, the movie and Tyker and Jermaine and you know their imagination and the world that they created before you know in the movie world that we then got to kind of get on the shoulders of for the tv world um and my wonderful cast we've got uh, let's see um, matt berry wonderful <laughs> natasha dimitrius fantastic uh, yes. mark brooks is that how you pronounce it yeah. and then uh, yeah that's it so yeah Okay, and you do. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> when I read the script and they were like, okay, you've got to do all the other characters, I was very, very apprehensive. <laughs> I was Why? very anxious. Well, because I've been doing impressions of everyone else but behind their backs. <laughs> so now I had to do it in front of their backs. And I was very concerned that A, I wouldn't be able to do it, and that was it, yeah, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, he's great at it. Look, he's really good at impersonations, but he was ter you were terrified. I remember you were like, oh man, I don't want to do that. But he did it in front of us. Well, before he did it on screen, he did it in front of us, so we feel like, is that right, is that okay? I mean, I thought you did Guillermo pretty dead on. Thank you. Yeah, and then the only one you didn't do was Natasha, right? Yeah, I didn't. I couldn't. I think he tried, but it's such a. They it's were a, like, "This is never gonna. Voice. Yeah, this is never gonna make the air." Yeah, but that was it. But Matt Berry and and definitely Mark. <laughs> he did them all. It was fantastic. Yeah, it took a lot. Everyone recorded their lines for me so that I could kind of you know get a sense of how they would play it. Oh, you know which one you didn't do, but you do on set is Kristen. No, yeah. I don't. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How do you keep it fresh? I think my, my problem is uh, improvising with Kayvon because he's so funny, like, and uh, Guillermo's always so grounded that I have to stay in Guillermo mode, and he always laughs at me, and he, and he goes, the greatest actor in the world, <laughs> because I try not to break, and he on purpose, he tries to he's break. such a pro. He breaks, tries to break character, and once I get going, like, if I break character, it's hard to reel me back in, so it'll be, like, our director, Yana, and she's like, okay, guys, okay, guys, 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 and we're like, we'll just keep going and going and going, so it's really fun and also hard because... I mean, what was that scene we're doing by the, by the room where, like, you come in from the door or whispering, we're listening inside, and it's just like, all right, ready, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. That, that took really long because we're improvising every take. Yeah, that was... That was a long one. I mean, we always get a chance to improvise and come up with our own funny lines, and I find that, you know, I'll do four... Someone's... Is there someone oh. playing? Is there a club going oh, on? Oh, going on next door. Oh, yeah. yeah. Welcome to the stage, Bad Bunny. Uh, <laughs> So I was answering a question here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry about this. Um, I'll do like five or six takes and they'll all be amazing and I'll be like, wow, it's so inventive and then I'll come and watch it on TV and nothing. Yeah. The script. Well, it'll be 50% scripted and 50% improvised, I think. That's what Paul said. Did he? He did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
No, the difference is it is 50% scripted and 50% improvised, but Kayvon will do a different approach to a different take. So ha he'll have like four takes that are all different, and they'll pick like a little bit of one, a little bit of the third one. So it's it's the pieces that they put together yeah. from all of them. And that's hard because if you give four different takes of fun stuff, you want all of it to make it. It's not all going to make it, you know? But what you do get is a great edit, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Thank you. Thank you. Over here. Hi, uh, my name is Rin, and my question is for both of you. Uh, so I just wanted to ask if there was a song or an artist you associate with your characters on also Guillermo and Nandor as a duo. A song that, a song that's like, associated with our character. Like that you would personally associate with uh, your character. Wow. Well, you go through like times where you sing a song for like a, a day. What were you singing? And then, but I don't know if that's with the character, just you having fun. <laughs> in a western town, in a dead end world. <laughs> East end boys and west end girls. <laughs> I mean, I think any kind of Nando karaoke would be quite funny. God, give me that something to funny. sing. Uh, but I guess it would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Keep going. Oh, if I could. No, I put yeah. myself in a corner. What about, what about two of hearts? Two of hearts. How does that go? Two of hearts. To hearts that beat. You know that song. Get it? Because beating heart, a vampire. Yeah. Lost opportunity. I, I can't think for Guillermo. I think he goes through different songs every season. Um, so, yeah. I think last season, um, it was like, Guni was helping with the wedding, and he was helping with your wedding and your fiancé. It was like, and me trying to figure out my life, and with my... A secret boyfriend that was happening in London. Uh, in my head, it was like Malumas Felices Los Cuatro, which is a Spanish. Yeah. Yes. So in my head, it was that song because I was like, I'm going to make this work. You're going to be happy with her. I'm going to be happy with him. We're going to be happy, the four of us. So that was the translation. Yes. So there you go. <laughs> uh, the backstory that I give Guillermo is I think that he was bullied in high school. I think that uh, his escape was uh, watching movies on VHS, and I think that he saw himself as like, if I become a vampire, no one's gonna F with me. That's the backstory I gave him. And so when he accidentally probably came across Panera Bread <laughs> with Nandor, uh, he saw the opportunity, because what is a vampire? They're gorgeous, they're rich, because they live forever, they're uh, immortal, so they just like, they're around unless you kill them, so they have all their lives to live ahead of them, like hundreds of hundreds of years, and no one Fs with them. I can't say the F word, I don't know there's children in the audience, but the, no one, don't say it. <laughs> but I think that that's the backstory I give him, is that he was bullied to the point where like, I'll show you all, but now it's been familiar for 13 and plus years, and it's not happening, and then we have Benji come and visit, you do good, Benji. <laughs> hey, Nandor. <laughs> Benji, yeah. And, and when he sees that, he's like, oh, this, this person's never making me a vampire, is he? So he's starting to get a little bit of a panic mode and starts taking matters into his own hands. But I think he started with, he was bullied. And I think he did it because he wanted to escape. I think a lot of people are bullied and they, they long for an aspirational, what if I was the cool kid or the athlete or the popular kid? And I think he longs for that. And the way to get that in his mind is to become a vampire. But now he's learning that he's a badass by being a Van Helsing, you know? So watch out. But I was curious to ask, how many of you would like Nendo, me, to make Yemo a vampire? He doesn't like that answer. Not you, <laughs> Josh was like, oh, finally, I got to go in, because Josh, my stunt double, who's amazing, yeah. he never gets to go in. Like, he just gets stressed as me, and he's in the wings. He's like, good job, Harvey. <laughs> good job. But uh, that was a really cool one. Kayvon really got into it. There was a moment where I pick up the trash lid, and I go like that, and his sword actually went through the trash lid. Like, it was like a, I, I went through it, and I held it, and I was like... Yes, it's fine, because it's like, <laughs> but it's, it, was all, it was all choreographed, so it's yeah. fine. He was supposed to hit it, yeah. and he hit it, and only the tip went through, and I was like, oh my gosh, I could see it, but that's how committed we were to that scene. To, to make killing it, you. To killing me. <laughs> he was really committed. But to shout out to the stunt crew, because they are they, Yeah, they just, they won the Canadian, um, yeah. Yeah. basic Canadian Oscar for stunt. Yeah. Yep. 
And he goes, you are the most devious bastard in New That's just like him. Do it again. No, it's not. No, no. <laughs> I, I do his, uh, ooh, feisty, oh. ooh, oh. gizmo, how are the dildos? Oh. They're fine. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll do it for you. Okay. The lines are like, you really are the most devious bastard in New York City. 